trolling Disney? The Daily Wire news website reportedly has made a movie to rival Disney's new Snow White live action movie following backlash over the quote unquote woke Disney remake. Titled Snow White and the Evil Queen, the Daily Wire's rival film stars YouTuber Brett Cooper as the princess in the fairy tale. Let's watch some of the trailer they released. In time, a prince would come. Once upon a time, but now that time is gone. Well, it's just a teaser trailer, but looks very nice to me. Um, I'm, I'm very happy for people who want to watch this film to live in a free country where they can do so. Exactly. <laughs> well, we have to talk about this for another seven minutes. So. <laughs> I don't know. It's like trolling. Okay. Disney is a multi-billion dollar conglomerate who has done research and assessed what the appetite for a certain kind of movie is. The, it's weird also to be kind of criticizing Disney over it because I think a lot of the controversy over their new live action uh, Snow White film is about the actress who's kind of Rachel gone out Ziegler. on her own and saying things that are her own personal politics and beliefs that may or may not be fully sure. reflected the, the in the The background movie. here is that the actress cast to play Snow White in the Disney remake um, has um, said a lot of um, disparaging things about the source material, mm -hmm. um, has described the prince as creepy, said uh, Snow White should be, you know, wanting other things than what were in the, uh, were in the uh, original is movie, that, and it so, has annoyed people. Is, is that, well, is it, is it a, is it a, is it a out there statement in 2023 to say that if we were to write an, a story today, look, it's grim. Like no one's expecting, no, no one's holding right. grim to the same standard as today. Story? Why do we have to? Well, because reimaginings are fun. We 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 reimagine. We make movies about Barbie dolls, and there's a new Ninja Turtle movie that now the kids are like young urban boys from New York. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you re you would reinvent things. They're not surfers anymore. They're like. New York street kids laughing about sure. bodegas and bacon, sure. mac, and cheese. I don't, I don't care great, great just, movie, by the way. <laughs> some people had a bad reaction to the amount of contempt she seemed to have yeah. for the original story. And, and that's story. fine. And she's gotten this wonderful opportunity to become a big star and to be in this movie. Well, she's already, movie she's and, already a, an actress. But I, I, yeah. I, she hadn't cracked my radar until now, but fine. She's I think, already I think, a I think big it's person. fine. Look, a lot of people, she's not alone in thinking that the role models we could come up with today for little girls are a little different than the ones that mm -hmm. fairy tale writers and I don't know when they were even alive, like the 18th century or whatever, came up with. That if we were coming up with a heroine today, she probably wouldn't be a lying in a coma in a field and, and mm -hmm. what the resolution of the plot is that a strange man <laughs> wanders up to her and kisses her. It's kind of odd. We all are used to it. We all grew up with it. We all have sympathy and love and affection for all the old tales, but I think it's perfectly fine and fitting for Disney to want to reimagine it in a different way that maybe gives the main character a bit more fine. agency, and it's fine yeah. for conservatives for who sure. really want the original. I mean, they could just watch the original. I don't know why they need to make their own, but if they want a live action version, God bless. And so they've got this um, internet. She's a YouTuber, Brett Cooper, who will be making her, I believe, acting debut in this film. Best of luck to her. And now this is competition, right? This is America. Yeah. If you don't want to see the woke Disney film, um, you have every opportunity now to go see this Daily Wire film. Uh, variety is the spice of life. Choice <laughs> is great. Some uh, kids, parents, families, young women might prefer the Rachel Ziegler version. Some might want to watch the more stereotypical prince and princess fantasy or whatever it is, and they can watch the original or they can watch the Daily Wire version, or you can watch all of them and decide what you like best, and that's fine and good. Uh, I, I think it, it is worth commenting on that the Daily Wire is doing something that's very interesting in trying to specifically, instead of just complaining that um, you know mainstream pop culture and entertainment is hostile to conservative values. They're going to actually try to create um, art and entertainment that has a kind, has a traditional or conservative framework, but but that is actually good and appealing. And we obviously we can't judge yet whether they've pulled that off. But so much um, 
so much art and entertainment literature that aspire specifically to be you know, political in a conservative way, on purpose, ends up being bad, ends up hitting you over the head with it, and is just like of not good artistic quality. That's just not, that's not just my view. I, so many, cons I've heard conservatives over and over again say that. We don't like what the mainstream approach to this story has been, but nobody on our side is good at telling stories that are themselves compelling, that represent our values. So they're trying to correct that, and I wish them you know, all the, all the best because it's an interesting yeah. project. When I think of like <clears throat> movies that have, that I think actually do have really conservative messages in politics, I think it's usually by accident and not because, it's certainly not because conservatives took over the film and made yeah, it Yeah, like let's also way. be clear. The reason why, let's say the live action, so Disney's doing live action of all of their classic films. Yeah. The reason that- Which I have a lot of the, thought, contrary <laughs> thoughts about, but go ahead. The <laughs> outrage around The Little Mermaid live action had absolutely nothing to do with the idea that the story was gonna be changed in any way, it was about the fact that the mermaid was black. My outrage was about that the fish looked right, weird. Right, that's fine. But let, let's weird. not sit here and pretend that all of the outrage over these Disney remakes have to do with them being woke, unless you should think the existence of somebody not being white is wokeness. <laughs> so. When, also when they say, I'm, I'm offended when they say live action. What do you want them to say? Well, it's, not, it's not, they're not real animals, they're computer generated. <sighs> Okay, what would you like them to call? Flounder is not, not live. What would you, um, would you like them to call? The hyenas are not live. I don't know, it's not, it's not live. <laughs> what would you like them to call it? Live is what mixed, we're doing. Mixed media. We're living <laughs> beings of flesh. Okay, look, it's worth also noting that there were some rumors circulating around that Rachel Ziegler had been let go of the Disney project because of her statements. That's really um, not true. Those were not true. There were people talking about whether um, uh, what's her face? Ortega from Wednesday Adams was going to replace Jenny her. Ortega. Jenny Ortega. Love her. Think she's great. Apparently that is not that is also unconfirmed. If you're not familiar with Rachel Ziegler, maybe you know her from Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. She starred in that um, as Maria. I haven't seen it. I've heard good things. I hear she's very talented um, as a singer and as an artist. So, you know, that makes sense for a role that's, they're all musicals, these are all, it's Disney, mm -hmm. it's musicals. So that casting didn't make a lot of sense. Um, and we'll see uh, how this all plays out and who's gonna win at the box office. Um, yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, so an example of a movie that I think is sneakily extremely conservative and I don't necessarily think it's Christopher Nolan's politics, The Dark Knight Rises the third of his Batman movies. Did you see that one? I don't think so. With Bane and Anne Hathaway as the villain. Most conservative movie, like reactionary movie. Batman leads the police in a glorious counter-revolution against some like Occupy type movement that is revealed to be a Middle Eastern sure, terror Batman's plot. always right it is Real, real right wing. The, the whole conceit of Batman is that here's a multi billionaire yeah. child whose billionaire parents yeah, get it, killed in an alley, is raised by his enough. butler, and then uses his money to become a vigilante. I know, but in, sometimes there's there's some question in some of them about well, he, is he causing more problems than he's solving? And like the second one has some war on terror, like surveillance stuff, where at least it's a little muddled because it seems to be the lesson is well, we used it this one time, but surveillance is generally bad. The third one is just straight up nope. <laughs> the police are the good guys. <laughs> Which is ironic, because in Batman lore, he's at odds with the police yeah. for large stretches That's of That's why time. the third one is, I describe as, like, really right-wing. Okay, yeah, well. <laughs> that does it for us for today. I, I miss, I, I love, I just wish we could <laughs> fill our uh, our whole show with uh, conversations about rival uh, Little Mermaid films. Next or time rival you do and ask, me, ask me anything, we should ask folks if there are, like, non-political or, like, marginally political pop culture topics that would like to hear from us on. That way, if we do it and they bomb, it'll be your fault and not ours. <laughs> That's a great suggestion. <laughs> Tomorrow on Rising, we will be back here, same rising place, same rising time, to bring you the most important news of the day. And as Brianna just mentioned, we are asking, uh, answering your questions, rather. We're not asking you questions. We're <laughs> answering your questions in the form of a rising AMA. And we'll do that on the, the weekend. But in our, in our segments, you can ask us uh, questions so that we can answer them much later. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss any content. And for those of you who prefer to listen while you're on the go, we're now available anywhere you listen to podcasts. See you later. Bye-bye.